Hello there guys, welcome back to the e-bike repairs YouTube channel. My name's Dosh and today we've got in this battery, it's a Cyclotricity rack battery, uh, 36 volt, 11 amp hour. Uh, you don't get any lights or output, I think, Some, there you go, when it's on, so it's on and not a lot happens. Uh, do do do, I, that and there and that and there, you get 29.57. Something weird happens. Uh, you can see that. No reflections. Oh, that's close enough. With the charger. The charger does go red. And you plug it in. So charger plugged in. And the voltage goes up. There you go. 35. And you get lights. But the moment that you unplug the charger, no lights. Um, so I'm assuming something to do with unhappy something inside the battery pack. Uh, let's have a look. There's a viewer that sent this in, which is exciting. Never get that. Uh, I think to open this one, you've got to do something up this end. We've got uh, two Phillips head screws here. Let's see if I can turn you so you're not just looking at my belly the entire time. Ooh, how's that? That better? Right, two Phillips head screws. One, two. This panel here, I think it sort of pops that way. See, there's a bit of movement like that. And it should just make like a, like a noise. There you go. Pops off. So these hooks here go underneath oh, these little tabs here. Uh, then we've got... One, two, three, four, and focusing very well, is it this? There you go. Five screws in there. There we go. And then, there's the BMS. blue cells in there. Can't quite see them there like a light blue. A roofer. INR 18650 2200A. So 2.2 amp hour cells. Okay, probably 5p. 4p. Something like that. Uh, right, let's plug this into our super duper handy dandy battery testing device. Let's have a look. Spin you around a bit. The uh, autofocus is not working very well today. Do apologise. And let's get this header plugged into there. Uh, it's just going to go so easily. It's all going to be fine. There we go. Oh, group number six, no volts. Group number seven, low voltage. Group number eight, low voltage. Nothing on group number six at all, completely dead. That's interesting. Right, we are going to have to open this up a little bit more. Uh, right. Uh, for a sec. We can't pull this off because it's attached to the outputs up here. Focus. There we go. So, same situation. One, two, three, four, five screws. Five screws there. Let me just see if I can just sort of drop them all on the floor. 
was a good way to go on. Uh, there we go. Start hiding there. And uh, I did actually drop one, but I'll uh, find that again in a minute, I suppose. Right. So to get the bottom part of this battery case out, focus. Please focus. There you go. You've got to turn this, get that in there, and then it should slide out. This is the case. Ta-da! Comes off. Right, and focus again. Okay. Run out of room a little bit today. Right, it looks like we will have to open this up, so... Obviously, you know, the usual never, ever, 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 ever stick anything metal anywhere near anything remotely battery-like. Which, of course, I'm not doing this as a, my carbon ceramic knife. That's not my thing. Slice, get that out of the way. Freedom! Right, that's going in the bin. Right, I see BMS wires. Right here. This is all going to have to come off. Okay, uh, looking for signs of water, corrosion, leaky cells, anything like that. Of which that all looks good. As does that side. That look alright. And possibly balance leads, words, balance leads that have fallen off, something like that. Have a lucky look. My meter here set to DC volts because it's a battery. And let's have a look, shall we? There's our main neg up here. We can't even get to. Coming out, shiny bits. Shiny bits. Shiny bits. And main pause under there. Oh, there's, there's more tape. Oh. Right. Let's make sure it's just nothing to do with the balance leads, basically. Uh, can you see that? You can sort of see that. We've got... What way round are you? Right, four volts across there. Do you go this way? Four volts across there. Four volts across there. Eight volts. Something's not. Hold on. Let's make sure I'm not being crazy. That's the neg. Which. Where are you joined? Oh, you're joined up the top here. That's confusing. So have we actually got one long battery? That's so confusing. Why have they built it like that? I don't know, but they have. So actually what we're looking at is one battery that sits that way. So 
horrendously confusing. Okay, so our main pause to there is 4.076, fine. And then, oh, this messes with my brain. Why does that make them like that? That's those two, yeah. And then you go to you, yeah, we check that one. And you go to you, yeah, we check that one. And you go to you, what? This doesn't seem right. 34 volts, right, let's try it the obvious way. So 4 volts. 2 .9, 2 .4, 2 0 0.9, 2.4, 0.6, right, that is indeed the problem, I mean, some of it's out of balance, but, you know, after they get to 0 0.6, there's not a lot that balancing is going to do for it, unfortunately. That's it's a dead group of cells. Um, with them being roofer cells, I've got no uh, no idea where to source cells like this. Um, it's a shame, but it's probably not really a lot I can do for it. Uh, BMS is probably fine. Uh, that's a bugger, isn't it? It looks like it's going to be a resale job, unfortunately. Um, you can't mix and match cells, so yeah, it's a shame. Oh well, uh, I'm going to do a bit of looking at what I can do, and I will give the customer a call. Uh, well, yeah, thank you very much for watching. Feel free to like, share, comment, subscribe, anything like that. And uh, yeah, have a nice day. Bye bye.